شکرے خدا میں رضوی ہو Over the last two Jumas, I tried to discuss and speak about the husn and the beauty of Rasul Akram sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, fidaka abi wa ummi. And subhanallah, indeed, there is none more beautiful than the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's most beloved, the most beautiful, the most radiant in Allah's creation, the most splendid, the most marvelous in Allah's creation. Our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we spoke about the Chahar Anwar, about the holy face of Rasul Ipaq, Sahibi Lawlaq, Hazrat Ahmad Mushtaq Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we said, Vokamal husn huzur hai, ke guman naqs jahan nahi, yehi phool khar se dur hai, yehi shamaa hai ke dhua nahi, Vokamal husn huzur hai. Such splendor and marvel has been given to the beauty and the exquisiteness of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wo kamal e husn e huzur hai ke guman e naqs jahan nahi that to leave alone there being a defect or a weakness ma'ad Allah or a fault in his creation you cannot even think about there being such a thing there is no even guman there is not even the, the thought of it that's how unique the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is and how unique is it yehi phool khar se dur hai یہی پھول خار سے دور ہے This is that rose that is free from any thorns یہی شمع ہے کہ دھوا نہیں This is that flame that gives no, gives off no smoke In other words, it has حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم has only the most beautiful qualities and attributes There is nothing that can be found that can lead to any shortcoming in the beloved Nabi صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Everything is perfect That is why the Sahaba Ikram said سبحان اللہ about our beloved Nabi صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم that he was of perfect proportionate physique. The beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was of a perfect proportionate physique. Everything about the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, was, was proportionate. It was perfect. The blessed eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not was but even is perfect because it is our iman and our aqidah. Ke tu zinda hai wallah. Tu zinda hai wallah. Mere chashm alam se chup jane wale. Ya Rasulullah you are alive. By Allah ya Rasulullah you are alive. My Aladr says کہ یا رسول اللہ تو زندہ ہے واللہ تو زندہ ہے واللہ میرے چشم عالم سے چھپ جانے والے but it is only this that you are hidden from our worldly sight from our worldly vision because these eyes are not that powerful to be able to see you ya رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and when we're talking about eyes then I want to go in that direction today that Allah Hadrat Adim al-Barakat is saying ya رسول اللہ our eyes are not strong enough our worldly eyes to not have that taqa that we may just see you like we look at everything else Our eyes don't have that strength. But subhanallah, let me tell you about the eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let me tell you today about the, today I want to tell you about the sacred eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're talking about the chahra anwar and the beauty that Allah gave our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And since I've read this share of Allah hadrat radiyallahu an, ke tu zinda hai wallah, tu zinda hai wallah, mere chashm alam se chup jane wale, by Allah you are alive, you are alive by Allah ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. میرے چشم عالم سے چھپ جانے والے but you are hidden from my worldly sight from my worldly vision we cannot see حضور اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم just like this but nothing is hidden from the eyes of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہمارے چشم عالم سے چھپے ہوئے مگر ان کے چشم کرم سے ہم چھپے نہیں ہوئے we are not hidden from his نظر کرم we are not hidden from the مبارک sight of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رسول پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is seeing all of us And indeed, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is also a hazir nazir. Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's ruh is in the home of every believer. As it has been mentioned in so many narrations about the, 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 the presence of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, now talking about eyes, the sacred eyes of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nothing, nothing is hidden from Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The difficulties that we are going through now, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is aware of it. The calamities that the people are facing, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is aware of it. And Huzur is making nazir karam on us. Huzur's rahmat is descending upon us. And it is because of the rahmat that we are still safe from whatever is happening in the dunya, from pandemics, from all the other difficulties and calamities that people go through. So this is all the karam of Rasulullah Paak sahib al-Ulaq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the karam of the blessed sight of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What can I tell you, Allahu Akbar, about those eyes? Those eyes... The Mubarak eyes, can you understand what is the taqat and the husn? You know when you look at somebody, 
they say that when you look at the beauty of somebody, you find their beauty in their eyes, the true beauty of a person. A face is very beautiful, a face is very good looking, but the beauty of that face is in the eye. It is in the eye that is the true beauty. And what can be said about the eye of the, Sayyid, of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? That eye which is so powerful, those eyes which are so mubarak, that those eyes, what happened? Allahu Akbar, on the eve of Mi'raj, those eyes saw the divine vision. Those eyes saw Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So when those eyes saw Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then what else is there that those eyes cannot see? In other words, there is nothing hidden from those eyes of rasul Pak, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that is why my and your Allah, Hadrat Adi Mulbarkat, radiallahu an said, or koi ghaib kya tum se niha ho bala, jab na khuda hi chupa, tum pe karo rod rod. What else is there that can ever be hidden from your sight, ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa when from your sight even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has even blessed you with his divine vision. Huh? Nothing can be hidden from your sight, from O oh, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi So this is the eyes, this is the nazar of Rasul Pak, the vision of Rasul Pak Sallallahu Alaihi And while we're on this discussion, talking about the blessed eyes of Rasul Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Allahu Akbar, what must be the shan of those eyes, as I said last week as well, who drank, who they, whose eyes, who had those personalities, who had turned their eyes into goblets of attaining the husn and the beauty of Rasul Pak Shahri Anwar. What must be the power of those eyes? That saw that Nabi's eye who saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What taqat must be of the eyes of Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anh, when he looked at the Chahre Anwar and the Noor in the, in the eyes of Rasul Pak when he returned from Araj? What must be the taqat of the eyes of Sayyidatuna Fatima Ta Zahra? What must be the taqat of the eyes of Umar Farooq, Osman Ghani, Ali Murtada, Hazrat Bilal Habashi, Hazrat Anas bin Malik, Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, all these blessed personalities, what must be the power in their eyes? And from this you need to understand that he who saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his eyes by the command of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then those who looked at his eyes attained the blessings from those Mubarak eyes. And their eyes began to see that which ordinary people cannot see. And then those who saw the Sahaba Ikram with the eyes of Iman, their eyes saw that which the ordinary eyes after them could not see. And those who saw the Tabaeen, their eyes saw that which the ordinary people could not see. Those who saw the Tabe Tabain saw that which the ordinary people could not see. Those who saw the Aimma and Mushtahideen saw those who saw who which the ordinary people cannot see. Because each of them drank from the sight of the other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw his Rabb and was blessed with the manifestations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Sahaba Ikram drank from the eyes of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa so the taqat and the power in their eyes became such that Hadrat Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu is standing in the holy city and he's saying, Ya Sariyat al Jabal, O Sariya, look at the mountain be- behind you. This is the Nazar Karam. And then you have the Sahaba Ikram, the Tabain who drank from the eyes of the Sahaba Ikram, and they could see that which we could not see. And the Tabay Tabain drank from the eyes of the Tabain, and the Imam Mushtahideen drank from the eyes of the Tabay Tabain. And the awliya Kamilin drank from their eyes and amongst them Sarkari Ghawsi Azam radiallahu drank from the eyes of his mashayikh and Sarkari Khaja Gharibun Nawaz drank from the eyes of his mashayikh Sarkari Ala Hadrat drank from the eyes of his mashayikh Sarkari Mufti Azam drank from the eyes of his mashayikh Huzur Sadr Sharia drank from the eyes of his mashayikh Huzur Taj Sharia drank from the eyes of his mashayikh Huzur Muhaddith Kabir drank from the eyes of his mashayikh So if you look at the reality that all this power that are in the eyes of the Wali Allahs the power that is in the eye of Sarkari Ghawsi Azam, the power in the eyes of Huzur Khaja Gharib Nawaz radiallahu, the power in the eyes of Sarkari Ala Hadrat radiallahu, the power in the eyes of Taju Sharia, the power in the eyes of Huzur Muhaddith Kabir, the power in the eyes of all the pious servants of Allah. How is it that they can see which you and I cannot see? This power in their eyes is because of the blessing of the sacred eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa when he saw his Rabb Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that manifestation and that blessing went into the vision of those as Allah willed and as the beloved Rasul distributed to them from in the court of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa And then they distributed to those who saw after them when they looked at their eyes with Iman. That is why it is important that when people ask, how is it that this Buzur can see this that you and I can see? How they know what is going to happen tomorrow with the Nazari Vilayat, they're sitting in one place, they can say what is happening in another place with the Nazari Vilayat. Because this 
eyes that they drank with. Allahu Akbar. When the Sahaba Ikram drank with their eyes from the sacred eyes of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu and from the Chahra Anwar of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then Subhanallah, they didn't just drink in the eye, but they drank from the eye into the heart and the soul. They drank from the eye into the heart and the soul. And why is it that they knew what was happening elsewhere? Because they were not just looking with a physical eye, but it was what's happening from the heart, the eyes of the heart, which were were, man, were, were illuminated and brightened by the tajalli of the rays of the eyes of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa and this got passed down to the eyes and the hearts of the pious and that is why the mashaykh and the great awliya Allah can see that is why Khaja Gharib ibn Was is in Ajmer Sharif but he can see everywhere else that is why Ghawse Paak radiallahu anh, Imam al-Awliya is in Baghdad Sharif but he is seeing our hal and that is why he says Muridi la takhaf washin fa'inni azumun qatilun indal qitali nazartu ila biladillahi Jam'an. Nazartu ila biladillahi jam'an ka khardalatin ala hukm tisali. Why Rasul Pak radiallahu anhu is saying this? Because he has drank from the eyes of Abu Sayyid Mubarak al-Mahzumi radiallahu anhu. He has drank spiritually from the eyes of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And those eyes, all that are seeing these blessed manifestations are the sadqa of the sacred eyes of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or koi ghaib kya tum se niha ho bala jab khuda na khuda hi chupa. This is the shan of the eyes. This was a, I've tried to give you a, a ruhani understanding of the sacred eyes of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now the physical explanation of the sacred eyes of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dhru Sharif. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa nabiyyina. Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala alayhi sayyidina. Mawlana Muhammadin wa sahabihi. Wa barik sallim. Wa barik sallim sallu alayhi. Now when talking about the sacred eyes of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shaykh Muhakkik. Shaykh Abdul Haq Muhaddith Delvi radiallahu gives a beautiful explanation. Hadrat Sayyidina Imam At-Tirmizi radiallahu in his Shamail gives a beautiful de- description on the Mubarak eyes of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa But I'm going to share with you now a little bit from Hazrat Sayyidina Shaykh, Shaykh Muhakkik, Shaykh Abdul Haq Muhaddith Delvi radiallahu You know what he says? He says when you look at somebody's eyes, when you look at an eye, okay, and he said especially when you discuss the eyes of Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Mubarak eyes of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa there are two perspectives. They are two perspectives. The first being the position of the sacred eyes, their structure and their features. Today everybody wants to know how this person's eye look. What color is the eyes of that person? How do their eyes... But have we tried to learn how our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's eyes looked? What was the formation, the structure and the features of the eyes of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? We love our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but we, don't, we do not want to, to, to find out more about our Nabi's blessed features and Mubarak attributes. We should try because the more we find out the more Allah's mercy will descend upon us. So Shaykh Muhakkik says the first thing, the first perspective when you look at the Mubarak eyes of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the position of the sacred eyes, the structure and the features. And he said the second thing is the physical and spiritual, in other words, the sight and the insight of the vision of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I've already discussed some of this with you just now about the power of the sight of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam very briefly. But Shaykh Muhakkik radiallahu says, that there are two perspectives when you look at the, cha- the two, 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 two angles and two perspectives when you look at the Mubarak eyes of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One being the position of the sacred eyes, the structure and the features, and the second being the physical and spiritual. In other words, the, 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 the sight and insight power of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's vision, which Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala blessed him with. Now, regarding the, mm. the, 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 the position of the sacred eyes of, of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is reported from Hadrat Mawla Ali radiAllahu An. And how the features of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Mubarak eyes were. He says it is reported, there is a narration from Hazrat Ali al Murtada radiallahu anh. He says that Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi had big, beautiful eyes. And when we say big, we don't mean bulging. Madhullah. We, when you say big, now go back to what I told you earlier. Perfect, proportionate, unique. So there are no eyes like these. There are no eyes. None has seen any eyes more beautiful than this. Okay? And no eye has seen. وَأَحْسَنَ مِنْكَ لَمْ تَرَقَبْتُ عَيْنِي huh? What did Hazrat Hassan bin Sabri radiallahu anh said? That no eyes have ever seen any husn more beautiful than you, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa No eyes have ever seen. Okay? And he said, my eyes have never seen. And Huzur Tawish Shriya said that read it also as no eye has ever seen. And that is what he meant, subhanallah. So, Perfectly beautiful eyes. Now keep this in mind as I'm, re- as I'm mentioning to you this narration. That is a report from Hazrat Ali al-Murtaza the alone that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa had big beautiful eyes and his eyebrows were long. Now, it is mentioned in the Hadith Sharif when they said that 
the eyebrows of Rasul Pakistan were long or they were big. This is said in contrast to them being constricted. In other words, they were not thin, they don't look good. They were full and beautiful. Okay? Did not mean that the eyes or the eyebrows were so huge that they popped out, but it means that they were perfect and beautiful. Because the great scholars have said that the maxim, you know, the, 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 the principle that is used when describing the sacred limbs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that we should say that they were being, that the, the sacred limbs and the sacred jism uh, athar of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was perfectly proportionate. And why? This is the found, because this is the foundation of beauty. This is the foundation of beauty and exquisiteness. And such eminence and splendor is found in Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the most proportionately perfect way. Okay? Because when you look at somebody, if, imagine if somebody's had one big eye and one small eye and one big ear or one small ear. So it's not perfect, okay? But Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, perfectly proportionate. Everything was most, is most beautiful. And this is why Hadr Ali radiallahu mentioned that. And it is also mentioned in another hadith Mubarak discussing the eyes of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the beauty of the whiteness of the Mubarak eyes of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they had very fine red vessels running in them that were so beautiful. Okay, they were so beautiful and so unique compared to the sight of anybody else. This was the beauty that was given to the husn of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is mentioned in one narration that Huzu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mubarak eyes, Allah Akbar, such Mubarak and blessed eyes of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when discussing the, 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 uh, the, the features and the physique and the form of the eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it has come in one narration, Ke ad rajul aynayn. Ad rajul aynayn. In other words, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa had big beautiful eyes with dark, with, with deep black pupils. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa had big beautiful eyes with deep black pupils. And the beauty of the eyes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanallah, is such that it's come in the narrations that even though when you looked at Rasul Pak Salaam's Mubarak eyes, it looked as if Huzur had surma. Huzur had applied surma khalilim in his eyes at all time. But this was a natural beauty in the sight of Rasul Pak Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. And when this this I'm telling you about the physical uh, features of the Mubarak eyes of Rasul Pak Salaam, very briefly, because we're talking about the beautiful eyes of Rasul Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Now let me tell you something about the physical and spiritual power of the vision of Rasul Sallallahu which I've already told you a little bit about. Before, when I started just a little while ago, but it is there is a hadith in Sahih Bukhari from Hazrat Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anh, Imam al Mufassirin, Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anh, that Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to look in the darkness of night just as he used to look in the day. Subhanallah. How many people can, any person, can you look in the night at something as you look at it in the day? No. But Huzuri Akram Sallallahu could look in the night as he looked at something in the day. Now this word of Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas will explain something. That if there is an ant in the day walking in the ground, then on the ground, then just as the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi sees the ant in the day, like that he sees the ant in the night. In other words, the day and night makes no farq in the Mubarak vision of Rasul Pak Sallallahu Alaihi And why should it when he has seen his Rabb Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? And this narration of Hazrat ibn Abbas radiallahu where he says that the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to look in the darkness of the night, just as he used to look in the day. Regarding this, Imam Bayhaqi radiallahu anh, has also given numerous, uh, uh, given similar narrations. And he has given the same narration from Hadrat Sayyidina, Sayyidatuna Ummul Mu'mineen, Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala an. And the great scholars have spoken about this. Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Qadi Iyad radiallahu anh, has said in Shifa Sharif that Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to look at the, you know, they say the 11 stars in the galaxy of the cluster of stars, it's called. Okay? It is, there's a cluster of stars. Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Qadi Ayat radiallahu anh says that Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to stand on the zameen and used to look at it clearly with his physical eyes. Allahu Akbar. Huh? This was the, nazir, the, the, the vision, the power of the spiritual and the, and, and, and the power of the, of the sight and insight of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. This was, and you know, Akka Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would look at somebody sometimes, he would look Al-Qa so, uh, Salam wouldn't look at anybody. He would turn his entire Jismi Mubarak to look towards somebody. But when he picked up his Nazar towards looking at somebody, Huzur would do so in a modest manner. Why? Because this was the Shan of the Beloved, and this is the Shan of the Beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. So Al-Qa Salam's 
mubarak eyes subhanallah what taqat what power what greatness in the eyes whether it's physical the physical attributes or the spiritual attributes of the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is he that he is on the zameen but he is able to see that which is happening in the asman the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is he that he is passing on sidratul muntaha he is passing on sidratul muntaha but he is he is aware of what is happening on the zameen our nabi is him that he is traveling on the burak which is faster than the speed of light and faster than the speed of speed and yet he is able to see hazrat musa alayhi salatu wasalam performing salah in his qabr he is able to see what is happening on the dunya at one time this is all the taqat that allah has given in the blessed and the mubarak sight of the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam this is the vision of our aqa kareem sallallahu alayhi wasallam so think about it for a moment how beautiful those eyes must be how powerful those eyes must be how nurani and radiant those mubarak eyes may be may allah bless us that in our dreams at least we may make ziyarat of the of the, of the mubarak eyes of rasul pak sallallahu alayhi wasallam and obviously we make dua all at the time that when we enter our qabr when we go into our graves on the will of allah and even there jab raza khabe gira se sar uthaye dolat e bedar ishq e mustafa ka saath ho allah subhanahu wa taala ki bas